Hi, my name is Steve Faulkner. This is Real Magic Review, and this is Titan by Nicholas Lawrence. Before we do that, you'll notice I'm in this situation. I'm not in that situation, and that's because I'm filming for cardmagiccourse.com, so have a look at that. We've got loads of new members. Thank you for those people that have signed up, and thank you for watching this. Uh, these are challenging times. This is now March the 25th or something like that, uh, and we're kind of locked down, and I'm the only one in this tower block, which is really weird. It's kind of exciting sometimes, because uh, I'm on the fifth floor, except at about nine o'clock sometimes when I leave and it's dark and terrifying. But there you go, really weird. So uh, we'll have a look at Titan, but do have a look at cardmagiccourse.com and like, subscribe, share if you like it and tell people, because uh, it would be lovely. Right, Titan, I, I open this up and it's the good thing if you can play with it straight away, which I'll talk about the goods and bads in a bit, as I usually do. But I was, when I first saw this, I liked the effect on the trailer, and it does do that, so that's great. I kind of, I didn't really see the potential in it. And to me, it was another one of those things, and there's nothing wrong with this, that it's a moment, so you've got to build stuff around it, but it does look really good. If you don't know the effect, have a look at the trailer. I'll obviously put a, put a, a clip in here as well. Uh, you basically get a card, you draw something on the back of it, you get another card, you riffle sort of, the pack, and the thing vanishes from the back of this card that you've drawn on it and ends up on the card that's here. And I kind of, I looked at that and I was thinking, like, I can't really see any meaning. You know, it's very, it's a bit of eye candy and maybe not much more to it. But then when I started playing with it, I started realising that there's, there's quite a lot of meaning there because you're transferring something from something into something else. So because you you add your own whatever it is you want to transfer so he puts a star on it i've done a little thing with a coronavirus because i thought you know everybody's making magic tricks <laughs> that are metaphors for that so i thought i'd do that which makes perfect sense because at the moment we're in a situation where people weren't following the rules the other day because they were saying well i'm gonna i don't mind if i get it because i'm young so i thought it was quite a nice thing whatever but the point is that it's open for interpretation and that's what made me think oh right actually you can draw whatever you want on this. It's not that they've put the star on it, so you could have a little person that you draw a stick man and do that and the stick man vanishes from there and ends up on this card. And then I thought, well, maybe this could be part of something bigger where you take this card and then transfer the stick man onto another card and you go into, you know, there's a lot of those routines where, the blank card routines when you transfer one blank card to another one and then there's routines where you have a signature on one card and it ends up on being another card. So you could then play with that and you, you create this sort of chain of events. And that's what I think... I like about this it looks good on its own and you'll do it it's do it straight away and, and you go oh that looks good but then I think it needs some meat on those bones which isn't a bad thing it's just something to to think about unless you're doing it for social media or something in just that moment you know that quick 10 second thing I think is enough because it does look really good um, on the download he goes into it loads teaches it really well he's good Nicholas Long so I did revolve and he does teach it really well he goes into depth um, there is a, this torn and restored thing. Now, you, when you get it, you get the ability to do the transporting one thing to the card straight away, but you don't get the ability to do the torn and restored. You have to make that up. So uh, there was part of me that kind of thought, oh, it would have been nice to, him, to put that in. But the really good thing is he talks you through making it up. He does it in real time. And then he talks you through. And they, they're quite good at this, aren't they? They've, they've done this with a few things. He did it with Revolve. He talks you through making your own gimmick, which is great. So you get one and you can make one. So you have this ability. I love that. I love that thing that you've, you've only paid 20 quid or something. You've got the gimmick and then you've got the ability to make as many as you want. And then you can be even more creative. Um, there's a Patrick Kuhner, I think, has got a vanishing corner routine that he does where, where you can do like a corner tear thing. He doesn't go into that in detail, but you can kind of work out how that works when he does the torn and restored. So those effects, that, the torn and restored, I think give you a lot for your money. I think it is really nice. He's very good, isn't he, at coming out with these really nice, unique bits of eye candy, which is what they are. Uh, the bad points of this, oh, he goes into a, a double cross. He says you can, you can do double cross with it as well, which I thought was a really nice idea. You could go from there to the hand, from there to there, which I think is, is really lovely. So, again, more, more and more ideas. Um, I started off thinking it was okay. I played with it, really enjoyed it. It feels really satisfying doing that. You get things in the package to enhance the gimmick. So the gimmick works as it is, but you can enhance it with other things and make it a little bit... 
uh, easier to do and more convincing because it's not difficult, it's very easy, but you have to be wary of kind of what you're doing so you don't give something away when you've done that move. So you have to kind of be quite quick on the, off the mark. This thing that you can do with a gimmick uh, will make that easier and make it look a bit better. But for me, you, you probably don't need it. The challenges are, I suppose, it's not really angly, it's not difficult, you're going to have to do a bit of DIY, and I suppose in a way it's, it's so unique that it won't fit into certain situations, but it's, it's nice, it's really nice for small groups. So I really liked it, that's Titan by Nicholas Lawrence. If you've got any questions, do put them in the comments, check out the links below for all the information you need. If you do want to donate, some people have donated, it's not an expectation, there is a Patreon account below, it's just patreon.com forward slash real magic review to keep me doing what I'm doing, and a good way to support the channel is carvemagiccourse.com, but all the info, info's below. Have a brilliant one. Stay safe. All the best, everybody. Oh, Instagram at Real Magic Review. Take care.